Hello friends. Hello everyone. I am Professor Mahesh Kot, and today I am going to deliver a lecture on virtual number of teeth for helical gears. So virtual gear is also known as is also known as formative gear, and what it means in case of force analysis of helical and dual gear, or while studying helical and dual gear, we are going to consider helical gear equivalent to a spur gear and that equivalent spur gear is known as virtual gear or formative gear we have to find some terms related to that virtual or formative gear so we will have a derivation today for virtual number of teeth for that gear or virtual gear or formative gear now consider one helical gear now what we have to do we have to cut the piece cylinder of the helical gear by this plane aa so consider helical gear consider the piece cylinder of the helical gear like this and we have to cut this piece cylinder by this plane aa so plane aa cuts the piece cylinder of the helical gear and the intersection of this plane aa with the piece cylinder produces an ellipse and that ellipse is shown by this dotted line so this is the ellipse produced because of intersection of this plane aa along the or on the pitch cylinder of the helical gear now for this ellipse we have to consider semi major axis and semi minor axis so this is the semi major axis we are denoting it as a and semi minor axis is denoted by symbol b so a and small a and small b are the semi major and semi minor axis of the this ellipse we have to find value of this now this is the piece circle diameter of the helical gear it is divided into two parts so value of this b that is semi minor axis will be radius of the gear or that will be d divided by 2 so we will write here semi minor axis b is equal to d divided by 2 now we have to find value for semi major axis now if we consider the helix angle psi over here so cos of psi is equal to cos of psi is equal to what will be the value so cos psi is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so adjacent side is d by 2 so this total distance is diameter of piece cylinder so this distance will be d by 2 so cos of psi will be d by 2 divided by value of hypotenuse so hypotenuse will be here distance a so it will be small a so we can write a is equal to d divided by i will shift this 2 to denominator so 2 into cos of psi so this is the value of semi major axis of this ellipse d divided by 2 cos of psi and semi minor axis is d divided by now from the analytical geometry we are considering this virtual gear with this center point o dash and with radius r dash so r dash is the piece circle radius of the virtual gear now from analytical geometry we can write radius of this virtual gear r dash is equal to a square divided by b so what is a and b a and b are the semi major and semi minor axis of an ellipse now we know value of a and value of b so put this value of a and b in this equation so if we put value of a it will be d square divided by 4 cos square psi divided by value of b is d divided by 2 now we have to cancel the terms cancel one d over here 2 into 2 4 so r dash will be d divided by 2 cos square of psi so what is this r dash this is the radius of the virtual gear or piece circle radius of the virtual gear now we have to find piece circle diameter of this virtual gear and piece circle diameter is twice of radius so piece circle diameter d dash is equal to 2 into r dash we know value of r dash it is d upon 2 cos square psi so put this value over here 2 into value of r dash is d divided by 2 into cos square of psi 
so we can cancel two over here. So P circle diameter of virtual gear d dash is equal to d divided by cos square of psi. So this is the P circle diameter of a virtual gear. So from this equation we can find P circle diameter of the virtual gear. Correct. Now we have to find number of teeth on the virtual gear. Now we have considered a virtual gear or virtual spur gear with P circle diameter as d dash with module as mn that is normal module because we are considering a normal plane over here and the number of teeth on this gear will be z dash. So now we will find value of z dash. We know z is equal to d divided by m for square gear. Now as it is a virtual gear we are using value z dash diameter as a d dash and module as mn. So z dash is equal to d dash divided by mn. So what is value of d dash and value of mn? Value of d dash is here and we know normal module. So equation for normal module, equation for normal module mn is equal to m into cos of psi. Normal module mn is equal to m into cos of psi. Now if you put value of d dash and value of mn in this equation we can get or we can get the equation for z dash. Now we will put value of d dash and mn over here. So d dash is d divided by cos square psi into 1 upon mn. mn is m into cos of psi. Correct? So cos square psi and d. Now what is value of d? We have to put value of d over here. And for helical gear, value of d is I will write over here value of d is ah, value of d for helical gear it is mn into z divided by cos of psi now I will put value of d over here therefore equation becomes z dash is equal to replace this d with mn into z divided by cos of psi so d is replaced with mn into z divided by cos of psi and value of this 1 upon m into cos of psi mn into z and one more thing cos square psi is over here so if you put the values over here this is mn or there is no need to replace this m cos psi if you put the m cos psi as it is mn if you put the mn as it is we can use the same equation put mn as it is there is no need to replace mn also so mn into z divided by cos of psi into this 1 upon mn and this cos square psi as it is 1 upon cos square of psi so we can cancel mn term from the numerator and denominator so equation becomes z dash is equal to this numerator z divided by cos square psi into cos psi that is cos cube psi so z dash can be obtained as z divided by cos cube of psi where z dash is the number of teeth z dash are the number of teeth on virtual gear z are the number of teeth on actual spur gear and psi is the pressure angle so from this equation we can find value of virtual number of teeth on a helical gear so i think all of you got this concept if you want to replace this term you can replace but there is no need to replace because if you replace mn with m cos psi uh, we can't cancel the term mn so keep mn as it is so that we can cancel this term and we can obtain the final equation i think all of you have got this if you got the derivation please like and subscribe the video okay thank you thank you all of you